And this is a gigantic pan. Now, do you need to fill it all up when you use it? No. But just remember these sage words. You can do a little bit in a large pan. You can't do a lot in a little pan, right? So what we did is we got out the Mondo Mac Daddy pan and we marked it down to a screaming low clearance price. Now, Judy, I don't know if you can get an overhead shot, but we're going to do our best. And I'm going to lift the lid on Sunday sauce. You ready? Hmm. Y'all ready? Check this out. Meatballs, sausages, sauce, and that's enough to feed the whole block. Isn't it? Come now. This is wackadoodle. And then we're going to serve it over this beautiful pasta. And then I'm going to hit it with loads of Parmesan cheese and a little parsley. Why parsley? Because the presentation is very important. And then how am I powering this? Let me slide this around. There is a probe right here on the side. I don't know if we can see that probe. Uh, Brian, can you hold this for a second? Thank you, darling. Appreciate that. Can we see it if I do it like this? There's the probe. A little more. There's the probe. And this will get hot enough to actually fry in. You can shallow fry in this. You can do whatever you need to. That's a nonstick coating on the inside. And we've got a perfect cook and look lid to go along with this. And you know what, John, I'll take that from you if you want to wipe them out right quick. Perfect. Thank you. And then I've got a cook and look lid that covers it all up. Look how pretty that is. Let's welcome in Cara DeFalco. With a name like DeFalco, I'm guessing Sunday dinner and Sunday sauce is something she's very well familiar with. Kara, how are you, my friend? Hey, David, how are you? I'm doing well, absolutely. Getting ready to make that Sunday gravy. You're already making that Sunday gravy. So what I've been doing in my pan while you were introducing us is getting some of these pork pieces seared off. So again, because nice. of the heat of this pan, it goes all the way up to 450. That nonstick, I'm just able to get these pork pieces seared off. And at this point, I'm going to add in my crushed tomatoes. So we had a nice bumper crop of tomatoes so far this year. Get oh that all word. filled up. Kara, oh, yes. how many pancakes do you think I could make in here if I were making breakfast? Uh, you can, or I have made at the, at the most, I think I put eight pancakes in there at one shot. Ooh. Now let me get some sauce in here or what, what Kara would call the gravy. Look at this. Yes, yes. Oh, can I just tell you, if anybody wants to invite me over for Sunday sauce, I'll just come <laughs> over and eat with you until You're... we pop. <clears throat> <laughs> you are welcome to do so, David. You are welcome to do so. I and keep you know what? threatening to fire up today. the chopper and come over and visit you. <sighs> uh, it's no threat. You can't threaten me with a good time. Ha <laughs> ha. So this is amazing. Look at all this delight. And we haven't even put a dent in this pan. I mean, my gracious. I was going to say, so you, ha you haven't. Yeah, because that's what we're able to do with this pan is cook for the crowd. And that's what we're doing here today. You know, we've got uh, my parents here. Obviously, it's their home. We've got my brother and sister-in-law coming over, friends coming over. This is a typical Sunday in my house. This is pretty much how it works no matter what. We've got, you know, a little football on the TV. Making it and rain, I, making it rain. How about the pasta that's cheese? That's it. <laughs> That's how it goes. But we're able to use this to not only cook the, uh, basically the entire meal, but then serve it as well because we've got that beautiful stainless steel exterior, right? We've got our helper handles. I've had this pot on for almost 20 minutes already. These are not hot. I'm able to touch them barehanded, no problem. And then, like you said, with our, our lid that I often refer to as my Roman shield because it is, in fact, massive, <laughs> you know, we're just able to let that sauce slowly sit and simmer away for the rest of the afternoon. No problems, no worries. We'll actually get our meatballs in there, get those going as well. That's how my family cooks them. We'll just make them, put them raw right into the sauce. Let it all simmer together for about an hour. And this pot, we're able to do that. We've got it set. Now I'm turned down to the warm setting. So again, it's just going to have that slow simmer for the balance of the afternoon until we all sit down to eat. So I was able to sear my pork bring my tomato up to a boil, let that happen, and then bring it all the way down to low so that we just get that long, slow simmer going on the sauce. And again, dinner for the whole family fed. Holidays are coming up. I know for a fact my mom is going to be serving out of this because, again, we're a huge crowd just in, in immediate family members. There's a lot of us. Now, do you do so, the seven you know, fishes on this. Christmas Eve, Kara? 
We do seven fishes on Christmas Eve, yes, sir. <laughs> so having this would be great for maybe the calamari, maybe for all the different uh, types yes. of. Yes. Oh, it would be fantastic. I need to ask some, some questions because we're getting some questions yes. about will this get hot enough to fry in? Can I do like burgers? Yes. Can I fry French fries? Can I fry chicken cutlets? You might know a little something about chicken cutlets. Yes, I know a thing or two about chicken cutlets. Absolutely. I've, I've made uh, quite a few chicken cutlets in this, uh, both here at home and there in the QPC studios. Uh, you can easily do 10 chicken cutlets at a clip wow. in this pan, just a little bit of olive oil. Again, it's got that beautiful non stick surface on the interior, so you don't need a whole lot of oil other than to flavor your food. You don't have to worry about it in terms of sticking to the surface of the pan. It's got that diamond coated nonstick. Everything releases beautifully in this pan. Really easy to use. You do want to use your wooden, your nylon, your silicone utensils. Avoid metal if you can. It'll tolerate it, but avoid it if you can just to prolong the life of your, your pan. And then again, we've got that stainless steel uh, handles riveted on to both sides as well as the lid. Like you said, you've got that uh, see-through lid so you can check on the status of your food, how far along it's gone. And then again, I just love that warm setting. It's perfect for serving out to the table, uh, buffet style, if you're doing it that way. That's how we've kind of come to start doing some of our family dinners again, just because of the quantity of people that we are. Now, look at this. We brought out another platter of pasta because I had so much left over. Because you My still gracious. have sauce and meatballs to go. Yes. Look at this. I've got sausages. I've got meatballs. I've got gravy. We have Mama Mancini meatballs coming up in this show. There's a lot happening in the last 40 minutes of this program, so you don't want to miss out. We're also making uh, KitchenAid ice cream, so stick around. If ice cream, Ooh. you scream. We all we got the whole meal going. We got it all happening. So this <laughs> is fantastic. Don't miss out on this opportunity. I need to uh, caution you that this pan is on clearance, and the reason I'm cautioning you is because when it's gone, it's gone for good. The price on this is amazing. Cleanup on this is going to be simple also because it's a nonstick interior. So, Kara, do you recommend uh, rinsing this out with some warm soapy water? Yeah, just with this one again because of the size of it and because it does have that electric element. So you just want to. Um, once your food is emptied out, you just want to wipe it dry. Again, that little bit of warm soapy water on the soft side of the sponge. Give it a quick clean and then dry it good, and you are ready to store it again. All right, I'm making it rain with some more uh, cheese, <laughs> and then That's some, what we like to see. some parsley to finish yes. it off. Look how pretty. You always oh. need a little something green on the plate. My great grandmother always said you always need a little something green. Well, what's that famous line? Why do you use parsley? Because presentation. It's very important. I mean, come on. Yes. You got you to have a little something green on there. Um, it looks we got good. An, and we got a, a enough color. sauce to do another platter or two here. My gracious. So this is fantastic. Oh, look at you making the meatballs, Kara. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If we don't have time you to come Mama over and make them at Kara's house, then we'll just eat them from Mama Mancini. So we're going to remind everybody I'm about say, those. I got, I got Mama Marie's meatballs. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Kara, great to see you, my friend. Good to see you too, David. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks. Goodbye, you everybody. Too,